The dog days are far from over for one-year-old Noah. We just decided we needed something fun going on right now in our lives. In fact, they're just beginning for this energetic pup and his new parents, Phil and Grace Wellman. I woke up this morning and he was had his face right here and he was licking my cheek and breathing in my ear. And I thought at first it was my wife, but it wasn't. It was Noah. The St. Bernard found his new home with a retired Virginia Beach couple less than a week ago. Keeps you from sitting around saying, oh, I'm isolated, sitting at home with nothing to do. Bringing more than 150 pounds of loves and licks all the way from Florida, just at the right time. We can tell just from what we've read about him that the fellow who passed away that brought him up and owned him truly cared about him and really spent time with him. No, this isn't Noah's first home, even though they hope it'll be his last. He was a very young 70 year old. I mean, we did a bar crawl together like a year ago. Richard Albero was the fun uncle, but also a true humanitarian who had a passion for his kids, St. Bernard's and the Yankees. He would always say kindness costs nothing. Just five years ago, he walked 1200 miles from Tampa to New York City, raising more than $56,000 for the Wounded Warriors Project to help other veterans like himself. He even got the honor of throwing the first pitch for his favorite team when he finished his journey. There surely could have been more amazing achievements in his future, but things took a turn for the worse when no one expected it. It went from pneumonia to like, I think within two days he was on like a ventilator and life support. Richard contracted coronavirus and his body couldn't fight off the deadly disease. By the time the test came back positive, it was too late. It's just a tragic way to lose someone because you can't say goodbye. With little notice, his niece Deborah had to figure out what to do with his beloved Noah. A friend put out the word on Facebook. The post got more than 1,000 shares and hundreds of messages from people offering a happy home for this pup. And the Wellmans, well, they were the perfect match. I think he'd probably sit down with Phil over a Guinness and ask him about his Vietnam experience and swap stories and tips on raising St. Bernard's. It's only fitting that in his death, Richard would still be able to help a veteran during tough times. Oh, I want to finish what he started. And that's something to cheers to. Kofo Lasaki, News 3.